Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. Um, today we're doing a pick a card um, on healing. Like, um, what do you need to focus on to heal yourself or get on that journey or things to think about, um, possibly uncover some areas that need to be healed? Uh, this is a quick guidance um, series. I, I used to do these a lot when I first started uh, my channel. Um, so I want to get back to them. So if you have um, any, feel free to comment with any subjects you want quick guidance on, um, drop those down below um, in the comments. So it's something I can add to my list because I want to make sure, I want to start putting out when I have more time, um, a variety of different types of um, of readings for you guys because um, it's it's really important to me to make sure uh, I'm, I'm being well-rounded so anything that you guys um, want to see like in a quick gui guidance series kind of thing it's drop those in here below um, you can be more healing things it can be you know getting through a breakup it can be you know general life things whatever um, again I know I do a lot of loved ones but I'm more focused on other things other than necessarily love it could be quick guidance love so maybe some things that you're maybe not aware of about yourself when it comes to love things like that um, but basically I'm saying don't drop in the like how does my crush feel about me I, I do a lot of those kind of things so this is a little bit more to, to round me out and other things you want to see besides what I, are, I already do so sorry for that long intro but um, we have three piles today so we have pile one which is separatine pile two which is my selenite with this very lovely mandala that you can't see because my <laughs> my camera glares out um, and then pile three, which is this awesome mineral, it's called peacock ore. So when you spin this, there's all these really cool colors that pop up in it. How awesome is that? So take a moment, take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you're drawn to, if you can't decide between two, there you could have some, some messages of healing in both or all three. Feel free to watch whatever ones you're guided to watch. Um, the Timestamps will be in the description box below. So some people pick by timestamps if they can't figure it out. Um, so feel free to do that as well. Uh, and again, take a moment, go with whichever you're drawn to the most, and I will see you at your pile. Thanks, guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile one. You guys have separatine. Okay, we are doing quick guidance healing series. So uh, my quick guidance series and healing is our subject. So these are areas that um, possibly you need to be healed in or you know, just take this kind of objectively, just listen to it all. There might be something that sparks something in you that you're like, oh yeah, maybe I do have that wound or whatever and I need to heal that. So we're gonna start with tarot first. So I have the world in reverse. The Three of Wands in reverse and judgment. Okay. Um, so, for some of you guys, I'm hearing, um, or all of you guys, <laughs> if you have a problem with completing tasks, like actually completing something that you've been working on, maybe you have great intentions, not necessarily the best follow through, that, that, sh that could be something that you really need to work on to be more fulfilled. And a lot of that does stem from, you know, uh, a fear of failure. Like if we never actually finish something, then we never really failed at it, right? So um, let me adjust this a little bit, I apologize. Um, so what I'm hearing is if, if you don't complete things, um, it's it's a sense of not putting the things that you want and, and and by completing things like there's there's a difference between like being resistant to something you don't want to do right but I'm talking about things that you want to do for yourself something that feels like it would complete you or you have interest in um, maybe you start a lot of projects for yourself but you don't finish them and and that's really like stems down to almost like a st self worth issue um, of of your your things are valuable the things you want to do for yourself you know 
they're important. And if you put everybody else's things ahead of yourself, you're never really completing those things. And you might be like, well, I'm being a good person to this person and that person, but are you being a good person to yourself? Uh, you know, I get some of us have different situations. We can't always be number one on our priority list at this time, but you need to be up there. You need to be top at the top. Um, also, there's some of you guys that I feel like maybe you've been wanting to travel, um, but yet you're, you're holding all these logical reasons. Well, you know, what if I need money for this or what if I need money for that? There, you're always going to need money for something, but you can't always be in a position where you can just go and, and experience things. And again, I get we're in lockdown for a lot of us still. This is supposed to be timeless, but there is a reality. There is some restrictions. Um, and if money is your restriction, but you want to seem to go see things, then I challenge you to look where you live, look up cool things in your area that you can do a day trip to and go check things out. Like if you have this sense of like, I want to be a world traveler, but you feel like you either don't have the money or you situationally, you can't just go away for a couple days. I challenge you to find cool things around you and go experience those things. Go check them out. Go go see new things. It's going to, it's going to help fulfill you and, and fill this longing that you have for, uh, to get out and go. Um, and three of wands in reverse also kind of wraps into this as well. Three of wands is very much about planning for your future, uh, thinking about things that you're longing for with it being reverse. I feel like you guys have held yourself off a lot for, from doing things for yourself. And, and that's something, you know, boils down to a lot of us are people pleasers and um you know that that's admirable but not at the detriment to yourself so there's one thing of doing things for other people again situationally some of us have to do things for other people little small people but um you need to make sure you're putting your your wants your needs uh the things that are important to you back up on your priority list. So this is like overall for so far that's coming out. It's a lot about you guys putting yourself first. So that, that is an overlining message here in this group, uh, in this pile. I'm still have more. I'm not, I, I don't look at these beforehand. So, um, I'm not sure what's under here, uh, more, more things to heal. Um, so we run into this judgment card. So the judgment is very much like in the traditional tarot, you see all these people that have died and they are coming back to life and going up to heaven. There's an angel calling a horn. Like you basically are not being judged, but you know, that life review kind of thing. We won't go into all that. Um, there's different viewpoints on, on that. I, I, I could have some really cool conversations with people about that, but we're not, we're not doing that here. But the message is, um, if, if you have a fear of letting life slip away before you do stuff, um, pile one, like it's time to do the things that you want in your life. Like what is going to help you really, I feel like a lot of you guys hold each hold yourself back from going after the things you want. And also this also could be very real, like feeling judged by someone else. You know, well, what if I tell them that I want to do this? What if they think it's stupid? You need to stop. You need to stop worrying about what anybody else thinks. This is about your soul, your path, your growth, your life. And it's time to really jump out and go after and get it. Like this mouse is sitting on top of, you know, a mountain looking at the sun and it's like trying to get as close to that warmth of the sun as it can um, above the clouds, above anything else. There's nothing else. And uh, judgment is also like in some decks called the awakening. Um, so I'm hearing you guys are on the edge of really just letting your, your soul just bloom, but you're holding yourself back by all these like, well, this might not work. This might not work. This might work. Just, just try to let that go. Even if it's baby steps again, even if you just find something that's 30 minutes away that you want to do for yourself solely for the reason that you want to do it. Also, some of us have grown up in, in families where we are told like, if, if you're not being productive, it's not worth it. If it feeds your soul, man, mm, that's all it takes right there. And, you know, again, even if it's going and getting pampering yourself, going to a store to look at pretty things. If that's the only five minutes you can get away, you need to start actively putting yourself first and doing things for yourself without the fear of what anyone else is going to think. 
You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's what you think. This is your life. This is about healing you. These are the things that feel empty in you and, and you need to go out and experience the things that you want for you to help you. Um, when we start feeling filling our own cup, from ourselves we don't need it from everyone else we become less needy we're not codependent and stuff like that because we're we're getting it from ourselves and then all the relationships in your life are still valuable but they're a compliment to yourself it's not like you you need anything from anyone else because you're full um and no one if you have that that empty feeling in your 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 soul or something you can't describe um it, you can't fill it from outside things or people you can fill it from the things that you want to do for yourself it's very much empower empowerment so some of your guys' life lessons this time around might be very much about empowerment, empowering yourself. All right, <laughs> now that I've gone down that rabbit hole, let's keep going. Um, we have choice here. So in these bubbles, these are kind of like all the choices, all the things she wants to do. Um, and she's almost blowing this like you would make a wish on like, you know, the is it, is it a dandelion with the little white things? I can't remember the exact flower. Feel free to remind me in the comments. Um, but you when you blow on it and it's like you make a wish. Um, but, you know, it's represented as bubbles and all these the adventures that she wants to make a choice to do for herself. Um, you know, it's really like start doing those things you've wished upon. Start even if they were childhood dreams, even if it's one small thing you can do for yourself and, you know, even like three months to a year period, do it for yourself. Like, do you even remember what you wanted to do? You know, like write it down. Like what, what could you do? And if you can't do that big thing, what is a smaller thing that will still give you that sense of that feeling that that going out and doing that big thing would be, um, you know, just because we can't do like, you know, I want to go on a trip to another country. Um, I really want to go, there's, I want to go lots of places and I haven't done that and I haven't been able to do that. But you try to look, okay, I might not be able to do this big thing, but what little things can I do to make me feel similar to that? Uh, I, 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 I'm getting this big vibe of like wondering, uh, traveling souls that have never really gotten to travel um, vibe in this group. So let's start looking for cool things that we can go do at this time. So distinctive potential we have some narwhals up here so we might have some whale fans um it says rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal so again maybe you don't even realize what you want you just know something's missing so they're saying you know nothing's impossible um just hang in there have determination that you want things to change you want things to to be better for yourself you want things for yourself this is a this is really really about putting your guys putting yourself first um and there's so much potential within you you just have to like see it and let it out guys okay um your last card this is from conversations with my soul it says shift the energies if you feel stuck you can shift the energies do something that you love dance sing create have fun this is more of that vibe of if you're feeling down do something that lifts your spirit back even even if it's putting on a silly song and dancing around like nobody's watching um it's again letting go of that fear of what people judging you or what other people think about what you're doing um get out of your own head and just just do just do so pile one i think that's all the messages um hopefully you found this valuable uh I appreciate you guys spending time with me as always and get out there and do you my friend get out there and do you thanks guys as always i will see you in a future reading and much love to you Hello, 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 my lovely friends for Pile 2. You guys picked this beautiful piece of selenite that has this mandala etched into it. I saw this in a Facebook or Instagram ad, like one of those things, but it was one of the best things I've bought, or have, have bought, I've bought myself. <laughs> I really love it. It's so pretty. Um, I love mandalas, so mm, they're so beautiful. Okay not about me we are doing my quick guidance um, healing series 
uh, our quick guidance series, and then we're doing it on healing this time. I have not been able to say that correctly. So I'm going to pull out tarot first and then oracle cards. We're going to see just things that you need to either keep in mind, focus on, shift, change, whatever comes up. Um, I'm just going to say, please take this with an open heart, open mind. I'm not trying to you know, put anyone down or anything. I'm just simply helping you see things a little differently and potentially things you need to work on within yourself. If you get triggered, then there's definitely work that needs to be done. Okay, so we have a high priestess in reverse. We have the moon. We have a king of wands. Okay, right off the bat, you guys like the big message with this high priestess here in reverse is not trusting yourself not trusting your intuition not trusting your connections not trusting that uh, if some of you guys watch my channel and you're like wow that's so cool that she can talk to her guides and blah 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 we all have the ability i just have to say that every each and every one of us has this ability but you have it starts with trust it starts with trusting that these synchronicities, these messages, these odd, beautiful things that happen are are magical, so to speak. Um, but it all comes with you. It's trusting yourself, trusting your intuitions, trusting that inkling that you have, that knowing that you just have. And we all have some form of it. Um, and it's very much like, say, yeah, some people are a little more like, say, take an athlete. Some people are a little more talented, like they're born with talent. Um, versus someone, you know, that doesn't have any, but we all can learn to hit a ball, right? But it takes practice. Even these athletes, these high performing, naturally talented athletes, naturally gifted people still practice every day, meditate, all that stuff. So, um, it still takes a level of practice. So don't just instantly write it off. Like you feel like you have these gifts or you're not sure about them. Don't just write them off. Just, just start exploring that and realize that it takes practice, but it takes trust. Uh, that's huge. Like trusting, um, trusting yourself. But I guess my point was, you know, everybody has some ability, but it takes a lot of practice to to get really good and, and there's nothing wrong with that just just allow yourself to know that it's going to take a little bit of time okay and then the moon is also very much like our intuition so i think this is a very very big group of you guys feel very drawn to spiritual things um you just don't know where to start <laughs> possibly or you're afraid a little bit of what people are going to think about that you know don't feel like you have to like tell everybody, uh, you will start attracting the people that understand anyway. So sometimes we can't force people to change their opinion and there's no need to. You can allow people to be on their own life path, but you also need to allow yourself to be on the life path that you're feeling drawn to. I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling very drawn to this um, kind of spiritual path in your life. Um, and I'm hearing just start simple start with quieting your mind meditation is one of the biggest the reason people talk about it so much is because in the silence is where your soul speaks to you that's where god speaks to you you know prayers are us talking to god and meditation is god talking to us um so you but you have to allow yourself that quiet time even if it's just a couple minutes even if you feel like you can't do meditation meditation is also a practice and it's called a practice for a reason because it's not necessarily the easiest thing even some of the best people that are so amazing at meditation have days where they can't focus and they they accept that they don't judge themselves they're like all right even if you get like a tenth of this calmness in it it's helpful um, i would suggest you know starting with guided meditations um, if you're a newbie to it, there's tons on YouTube. You can pick a subject if you want. Um, there's a lot of great apps. I personally like um, Insight Timer. It's got like a Tibetan singing bowl as their little icon. Um, you can pick by if I only have five minutes, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then as you get better, you can actually you know meditate in silence, like transcendental meditation, that kind of thing. Um, but don't feel like you have to jump there <laughs> right away. Um, we're talking baby steps. If you guys used to, if, if you're watching this pile and you used to have a meditation practice, my guides were saying, get back into that. Try it again. Keep trying. Don't give up on it because it's how you're going to connect. Um, also, automatic writing has been, that's been coming up a lot for me in readings. Um, 
automatic writing, uh, like if you have a question for your soul, for yourself, and you're not sure and trying to get your own clarity, you can write it, the question on the top of a piece of paper, kind of get in a meditative state, you know, calm yourself, and then start writing anything that comes out. It can be the craziest thing, makes no sense at all. Just start writing it down. Um, I mean, it could be as obscure as... Uh, get baseballs from a baseball field. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. Um, write it down, but try not to, to like write it down without judgment and then go back and read it. And I'm telling you, there's going to be little nuggets of, of pure gold in there from your own soul, but you just have to stop judging what it's supposed to look like. And also, you know, we, we tend to compare ourselves like, you know, to what other people can do, you know, comparison's the thief of joy, man. Like you just got to just do what you can do for you. It doesn't have to look like anything. It's not supposed to look like anything. And it looks differently for everyone because it's how your guides are choosing to connect to you first. And once you can trust that, that it's them, then I'm telling you these other things just start opening up and like a floodgate in, in a beautiful way. So, okay. <laughs> um, I get on such a rabbit hole. So King of Wands here. So yeah, it's like this passionate, fiery, like I feel like you guys are dimming the the fire in your soul. And so now it's, it's time to set your soul on fire. Like do the things that set your soul on fire. Um, really like let it out. It's, it's time to just, and again, there's no need to force other people to understand you, you know, cause some people just never will. And that's a hundred percent. Okay. You know, you will start attracting those that do. Um, so don't fear that you're going to be alone in this forever. You're, you're going to start, you know, making friends and, and you'll, you'll be surprised. And also ask your guides, like if you don't feel like you have anyone to talk to about any of this woo-woo craziness you feel drawn to, ask your guides, say, hey, you know, even if you're not sure if they can hear you, you're not sure about all of it, just say, I really would like some more people in my life that I can talk openly about this, this part, or maybe, you know, help me with some teachers, you know. When the student is ready, the teacher's there, there's that saying. Um, very much, you know, just ask the universe, ask your guides, ask your angels, ask God, whoever you want to call it. Um, there's no right and wrong here, guys. Uh, it's just connect, <laughs> just connect. But um, uh, just just ask for that. Wow, I'm using my hands so much. Anytime I get the king of wands, I'm always like, Meh. Um <laughs> But uh, and you can be a crazy goofball like me. How fun is that? All right. Uh, but uh, just just put that out there. Put it out into the universe that you would like to draw in more people that you can connect with about this. All right. Let me see if any other messages come through for tarot for your guys' healing. Again, I feel like a lot of you guys are on this big spiritual path, maybe had an awakening, and you're like, what is going on right now? Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. So we have respect. We have Virgo on her hand too. Okay, um, sorry, I'm just looking at this card. I love these cards, look at that image. But I'm hearing respect yourself, respect your gifts. Oh, this color, this card is very purple, which is the color of the divine. Her head is very, you know, or her head, her hair is purple and she's wearing this crown, almost like a crown, you know, her crown chakra. Um, also, you know, some of you guys look into to Reiki work, even finding someone that does distance Reiki work. Um, if you can't get in to see someone locally. Um, yeah. Let me, sorry. And you guys always yell at me for saying sorry, but old habits die hard, especially when I'm channeling information. I just, it's a, it's almost like saying um to me. So there you go. All right. I want to read this because I feel like I'm not doing this card justice. So I'm going to actually read it. And so respect during a healing process, it's vital to cultivate insight an insightful awareness of your self worth. Realizing you deserve praise and love makes you more able to give praise and love. Think about how you can deepen your self respect. Consider someone you respect greatly and reflect on why you feel that way. Do you love yourself unconditionally? Do you have self-deprecating sense of humor? It really isn't okay to have fun at your own expense. 
Do you take good care of yourself? This includes getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. Are you able to make decisions for yourself based on your needs and wants? Um, when you are in a healing process, having your own outlook and developing your perspective can carry you a long way. Stand up for what it is you believe in and be respectful of people that may have different, differing viewpoints. By gaining experience and improving yourself, you earn the respect of others. You will also respect yourself more. Respect is not something you acquire quickly or easily. It will be an ongoing support and your self-assurance will be unshakable. So that is a message for you guys for self-respect. You know, again, we talked about that differing viewpoint and that being okay. Um, but you know, just make sure you have a lot of self-worth for your, yourself and you're talking to yourself as you would someone that you love so much because you should love yourself that much. Okay. Our next card is 33. Let your personality shine. Look how beautiful. <laughs> These are, uh, whispers of the ocean cards. Um, it says you have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Stop comparing yourself to, okay, guys, I, I don't look at these cards before I, I do this. So I get the tingles when this happens. Okay. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. That is definitely a message for you guys. Comparison is the thief of joy. I want you guys to write that somewhere. Um, it's very, very true. And then let's get one more card. Okay, so it says, believe in magic. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So again, there's a, that, that sense of like, you have to trust, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in this magic that's within you that wants to come out, that wants to shine, that wants to fulfill your life so much because you have it in you. You have so much magic and beauty within you guys. It's just time to start trusting it. That's the very first step. Just start trusting it, owning it, owning this beautiful gift that you guys have and, and try to start honing in on that. Um, I want to see if any other messages come through. I, I, and, you know, for, for those of you who are, that are literally going through a spiritual awakening, right now <laughs> and this pile is ringing very true just understand that it takes time and don't be so hard on yourself again it's not supposed to look like anything it's supposed to be what's right for you just try to follow your own lead if you can um i just keep getting drawn into the butterflies here so i'm just hearing you're going through a transformation and it's going to be beautiful um you might be a little bit dark in the cocoon right now but you will release and let your 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 wings fly and your true personality is going to shine through so pile two, I hope that helped. I hope that gave you some insight. As always, I appreciate you guys being here with me. It's truly an honor and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, my lovely friends for pile three. Sorry, he's got like a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> So some of you guys might have an issue with speaking your truth. Sorry, I didn't mean to start that. And totally not be able to <coughs> talk. Wow, okay. So that might be ringing true for some of you guys. Not speaking your truth might be big on your healing. Okay, so you guys pick the peacock or Very beautiful, spin it around, all these cool things. It's a type of mineral, very awesome. We are going over, this is a, my quick guidance series. The subject is healing. What do you guys need to focus on in your healing? Um, sometimes there may be triggers in here. Take that as a good thing. It's, it's a way of, of your soul or your body letting you know you have something that needs to heal. Like in pain, don't always think that pain is a bad thing. Pain sometimes just signifies and lets us know that we have a wound that needs to be tended to, needs to be healed. I talk about this a lot um, when it comes up in personal readings, like much like if you're walking along barefoot and you stepped on a piece of glass, you would not know you stepped on the piece of glass unless you had the pain associated with it. So 
the pain pain is a response of your body to let you know that you have an injury that needs to be attended to um, that needs to be healed looked after cleaned up whatever so start looking at pain the pains you feel in your life as something if it triggers you know pain within you really look at that and that's okay is there something in me you know and again we're gonna have pains people hurt our feelings all that stuff happens but if there's a deep root to that like stop and be like is there something deeper here that I need to tend to clean up and and nurture so it gets better so that pain can go away or else it's going to fester and get worse so just throwing that out there before we get started all right I don't know what's in these cards so we're going to find out together we have queen of wands we have the star in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse okay I feel like some of you guys may be feeling a little hopeless in life um, or you've lost your hope in something um, because of the time it's taken to move forward or some of you guys could quite literally be holding yourself for holding yourself back from moving forward in your life for whatever reason um, it's time to really start investigating um, what that is sorry there's a plane flying by uh, our queen of wands here so you guys are this fiery charismatic group watching and if you don't feel that then it's within you and you haven't let it out yet um, maybe you have had some turns of luck that's made you feel like what am I even doing you know what's going on with my life you uh, it's this weird sense of like almost like giving up a little bit because things haven't moved forward the way you wanted them to so the messages with that is you know crap happens guys and and it's okay and it's okay to you know feel down and we all do um you know grief is a part of life but grief is somewhere that you just want to visit you never want to unpack your bags and stay there so if you've been wearing out your welcome in the land of grief the land of hopelessness the land of stagnant feelings and not moving forward it's time to to shift out of that energy it's time to start planning for your future start having hope again and maybe you know maybe maybe it's a person that kind of crushed you and made you feel like that you know what it's okay um you can't control what that person does you can't control um really anything about someone else but you can control how you allow it to affect you so if you're feeling down you've been here for a while like it's time to all right, we're not allowing this situation to crush us anymore. We are going to flip this around. We are going to find hope again. We are going to find our movement forward. We're going to find what, what really sets a fire to us. It has nothing to do with anyone else. This is about you guys. We are talking about you. This isn't it's meant to be a love reading. This is about what you want, what you need to heal within yourself so you can move forward. And once you kind of truly heal that that emptiness within you you don't need it from anyone else so if someone comes along they compliment your life it's not like you need them ever um, so there that you get rid of that sense of neediness um, and just feel more fulfilled and more happy and and again it doesn't people on the outside don't rock you as much like they don't shake your resolve because they can't because you're so solid in yourself and you guys you guys, if you don't see yourself as this queen of wands again male female washing king queen of wands whatever you want to go with like this pure fiery enigmatic just charismatic vivacious person you need to let that person out because it's in their pile three like this is you and you need to start wishing on stars again you need to start having hope for your future you need to start planning and actually making these steps to move forward um you're gonna feel like that rush maybe you just felt very dull for a while like you know your light has been dulled and it's time to let that shine it's time to very much be this unicorn and go woo and go forward so you guys i feel like you guys just need this burst of life back in you guys um we have bound our barriers so this card is very much about actually having boundaries um i think <laughs> let me pull it up because I know that we have a boundaries card in here too, so I don't want to say the wrong message if I'm not saying it right. Ooh, okay. It's a little different than I was going, so I'm glad I looked it up. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to read this. All right. You have created barriers or defense mechanisms that may be preventing emotional or mental healing. The universe is 
eagerly waiting and willing to assist you with your healing, but you may not be receiving the healing you desire. Sometime, something seems to be blocking or hindering your restoration. The obstacle may be a protective measure you have put in place to keep your heart from further harm. This shield may seem necessary and logical, however, it is preventing the healing light being sent to you from penetrating and healing your pain. Defense mechanisms are a response to being wronged, hurt, rejected, abandoned, or abused. You may have made a mental vow not to allow yourself to feel a certain type of pain again. Once the block is in place, you may find it difficult to talk about certain situations or to receive corrective information about your experience. By identifying the root cause of your defense mechanism, healing can begin, and you will be willing to tear down the walls you have built so that your healing can occur. So this is kind of like if you've built those walls around your heart, yeah, that might protect you and, and keep you from, from getting hurt by more people, but you're keeping that pain in. When you've built that wall around yourself, that pain has nowhere to go except for that festering, uh, it just festers. Like I talked about before you open these cards, um, it's, you, and it may be scary because you don't want to get hurt again, but you got to let those walls down. You got to let it out because you're just holding all that pain in and you're, you're not allowing um, the protective uh, healing love from the universe and your guides and your angels in as well. So it's kind of a warning to slowly start letting those barriers down and opening back up. And I think just start looking at what you want to do for your life doesn't this isn't involving around anyone else this is solely about you and 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 start doing things that you love for you and start mending your own heart that way i think it's going to be very very powerful for you guys um we have this little card this is from the ocean whispers oracle or whispers of the ocean um, it says, inner desires, set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. So yeah, like it's like flipping this eight of wands around. Like things are just going to start pouring in once you guys let this barrier down. And again, you might just be letting it down for yourself and starting to enjoy things that you enjoy again for the sole reason that you enjoy them, you know, and set some intentions for yourself. Set those intentions, set those out into your guide. Say, this is what I want in my life. This is what I want for my life. This is what I want for myself. And, and set those attention, intentions and talk about them as if they're reality. Um, and, and it's really gonna start shifting everything in your life, guys, but you gotta let those barriers down. All right, and then we have one last card. It says, you are the creator. You are a powerful creator. You're very much this queen of wands. She is the creator, guys. Um, take your life into your own hands. Be this unicorn. Take those wands. Woo! Sling them around. I just keep picturing it like doing a lasso with the wands. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, take your power back. Create what you desire. You can create anything. I'm going to hold that up. I want you guys to really look at that. These are the conversations with my soul card. I'll try to make sure I put the link below. Um, she's got some amazing decks. Uh, this is Divine Feminine 7777. Um, but I really like this deck just for helping yourself with personal growth. Um, all these decks I'm using, I'll try to link them all. Uh, they're really, really good. Uh, this, the one about berries was Whispers of Healing. So if you thought about like maybe picking up either tarot or called tarot it's a little bit harder to learn um it's kind of like learning another language not impossible um but it's a little bit harder so if you're looking for baby steps i would suggest like getting an oracle card and even or oracle cards even if you just go to amazon and look at oracle cards oracle decks and and start scrolling through and find something that jumps out at you um i really enjoy um uh angela hartfield's decks and I have two other favorites um I should have used these <laughs> in this deck I totally forgot I have the heal yourself this actually might someone might see this and like this heal yourself reading cards these are by Enos Gall all her stuff is really cool too because she has like this is what's wrong this is where you need to focus on and then um who is my other favorite person I'm drawing a blank do I not have them here they might be at my house um Oh my goodness, why can't I think? I, I share her stuff with so many people. Uh, 
crap. Guys, I feel like this is important that I tell you guys. Um, let me pull it up real quick. Thank you for bearing with me. Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. Why can't I think who this author is? Alana, Alana Fairchild. Her stuff is awesome. Oh, I do have one of her decks. Why am I such a kook right now? Oh, nope. Do I? Nope. Just kidding. All right. It's at my house. I'm at my mom's house. This is where I record my stuff. Um, Alana Fairchild. Uh, I just got this deck. I'm going to show you guys. I don't have it here. It's called the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck, and it's a guidance for living a unique and authentic life. Um, I'm sharing all this stuff with you guys because I'm being drawn to, so hopefully you find value in that. If you don't, no big deal. But my point was, um, you can go through and and really like just look at whatever. I mean, there's thousands of different kinds, and just find one that speaks to your soul. And maybe order that, and then you would, once you get the cards, and you can kind of look through them, shuffle them up, whatever you want to do um, to acquaint yourself some people put them in the sunlight some people you can look up like how to cleanse your deck things like that that i find that's very personal to each person so there's no right or wrong way so to speak to do that do what's right for you um and then you can just shuffle it and say okay what do i need to focus on today and pull a card out and read it and read the in the inscription whatever sometimes some of the, the books have a meditation things like that to do to work on and and actually work on that and that's also going to help you heal yourself um see if any other messages come through but it's time to start living for you guys and and, and again try to it, it might be scary but try to let those barriers down really really let them down because you need to let the light and love in, and and to let your team of light workers angels whatever you want to call them and to help heal you because they're here to help you and you can ask you can even if you don't know how to let your barriers down go can you guys please help me break this shell that's around my heart because i really want to start healing and be open to to things again so as always, thank you guys so much for being here with me. I always appreciate it. You guys are amazing and have a lovely day. Bye guys.